Nearly five decades later, a family reaches closure after the victim of a brutal murder has finally been identified. It really is something. WKRG News 5's Asher Red talked with investigators and a genealogy specialist who solved this case. And Asher, they say this is a relatively new method they used to determine the victim. Yeah, you're right, Cherish. And of all things, it was a ceramic dental mold that propelled this investigation to its end. It's really uh, just a mystery to me. It's a scientific miracle. It really shouldn't have happened. It began on March 18, 1976. Sergeant J.T. Thornton says a group of teenage boys found a body floating in Sessions Creek in Grand Bay with one gunshot wound to the back of the head. The body was found with its hands removed, but the limbs were covered in plastic bags, as was the head, to prevent blood from uh, entering into the vehicle during transport. DNA testing wasn't made available until 10 years later, and the main method of identifying a victim was by using fingerprints. And with no hands, the victim was unidentifiable. So somebody knew, had an idea of what they're doing. Normally that's not a first time behavior. This is somebody that's actually done this before. The remains were given a placeholder name, Jane Doe. Sergeant Thornton teamed up with genealogy specialist Olivia McCarter to find Jane Doe's real name. We, we decided that this would be a good case for investigative genetic genealogy to identify the remains. But there was one problem. But we later found out that she was cremated. After reopening the case, a ceramic dental mold taken from Jane Doe's death was found to have dead skin on it. I didn't know what to do with it because nothing's really been done with a ceramic dental mold before. InVac testing is a DNA vacuum usually used to find E. coli and salmonella on items. More recently, McCarter says it's been used for forensic testing. And I did not think it was going to work, neither did he, and it turns out it was the best DNA sample I've ever gotten off of an item. Two months later, a match. I gave Sergeant Thornton an investigative lead that his Jane Doe is Ada Fritz. Once we got those DNA matches, we started to build the family tree for Miss Ada. And we worked to develop a living relative, made contact with that living relative who was uh, Miss Fritz's nephew, and he was able to identify from the photo uh, from post-mortem examination that was his aunt. Investigators believe Henderson James William is the killer. However, he died in prison, serving time for the murder of his own mother. The direct link is going to be impossible to say, hey, this is why he did it. This is what happened. We'll never know that, unfortunately. Mick Carter says that Fritz was visiting Grand Bay from out of town when she was killed. She kind of disappeared. Like usually with people, they have death records, social security death indexes. She didn't have one. The sheriff's office is looking into another case just like this one across the country, and they say the two cases could be related because of how the body was found. Live in the studio, Asher Red, WKRG News 5.